push. Now I give a f about none of this shit. Two runner over and out of this bitch. <laughs> I'm Megan O'Leavy, and here's what you need to know in your UFC Minute. This weekend, we have a stacked card with tons of solid fights with a main event you won't want to miss. When this fighter first began competing, the goal was always the same for the talented mixed martial artist, to win a world championship. This weekend, live from the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, the star gets his long-awaited crack at the UFC heavyweight crown in a fight that has fans around the world buzzing. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 48 wins, one loss. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Indianapolis, Indiana, presenting the challenger, Johnson. Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 100 wins, 43 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC heavyweight champion of.
All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Let's see which man exits as the consensus baddest man on the planet. All right, round one is underway. Capacity crowd on hand to see this young man, and why not? Have you seen the highlight reel? This man has put together one of the best knockout streaks this division has ever seen. His goal tonight, to extend it in the biggest fight of his life. Oh, a nice inside leg kick landed there by Overeem. Joe, how do you think he approaches this challenge tonight? A big factor in this fight tonight could very well be Alistair Overeem's knee strikes. Absolutely devastating with that technique. Hard hook. And he's looking for that last. Oh! Oh! This could be it right here. Nice leg kick. Vicious combination. Oh! Oh! Kicked him in the face! The champ is rocked. He's in deep trouble right now. Deep trouble. He's trying to hang on. Oh, he might be out. Hit him oh, hard with that hook. hook. The left hook hits home. Under three minutes to go in round one. He is going after it here. Man, that looks a little wobbly on his feet. Wow! Whoa! He's in a lot of trouble. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Overeem. Yes. Back up to his feet. Oh! Two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. He tagged him again. He's hurt. This could be it. Big right hand lands. Oh, big shots. He hurt him again. a gigantic kick for the knockout. Well, yeah, Joe, you want to talk about execution, and he just couldn't have done it any better than that. He is known for his kicks, and that was just a perfectly placed and timed kick. Full force, landed flush, full extension with the leg, and you knew that if his opponent didn't get the guard up, that was going to be the end of the night, and he went goodnight. Here it is one more time. Boom. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 47 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Uh -huh.